Hello everybody, MechFrog here. Today we're going to tackle the box of Battletech Clan Elementals. Uh, we're going to get it open here and piece them together. They're already, they have already of course come assembled, but one of the major drawbacks for, for this box is they are all exactly the same as the others. So part of the project here is going to involve um, doing some Frankensteining cutting and moving elementals around on bases to give each one a more unique look. The sculpts themselves are pretty good considering the scale. Um, they're very, very small. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're painting. The, the detail work is, is you may want to update your glasses prescription. So my original plan was to just rearrange a few of these elementals on the, the bases they come with. Uh, I do end up changing my plan later on and deciding that if I'm already cutting some of them off, I might as well cut all of them off and put them on uh, the, my specially designed bases. Uh, but for now, uh, this shows kind of, you can get in there with the, with the pliers and pull them off relatively easy. I didn't have any breakage issues with uh, pulling them off. Uh, but for now, I left them on the original bases, gave them a nice uh, Arati green base coat. It's a very, very bright green from Scale Color uh, Scale 75. Super bright and super matte, and what the what the Scale 75 are used are, are known for. Next up, giving them a wash with a contrast paint, Arati blue. So that'll help with these these models being so small. The, the detail work is really difficult to um, to do, um, but the wash uh, really does go into those little nooks and crannies and helps pull out uh, the higher spots and darken the the lower spots. Once that's all dry, here we show. I made the choice to go ahead and rip them off the bases. Took a little while, but it was worth it. I think when you see the final product, you'll be uh, you'll see why why it was good to do that. Next up for the jumping elementals needed to do a base coat and in this case I used the Proacryl Ivory. Uh, normally I would do a uh, bold titanium white for any sort of base coating over a color uh, but in this case <clears throat> with the colors going on it being kind of warm yellow and red uh, Ivory works just fine for that it's it's all gonna end up going in the same place. I think I did two coats of the Ivory um, but other than that, it worked uh, worked pretty well. Next up, use some speed papes from Army Painter to do some wet blending of their their version of, con of contrast paints. I speed paints, I guess they would prefer. I would say, um, not that I'm sponsored by them in any way, way shape, or form. But uh, started with the yellow at the top, and then worked in the red. And in the middle, it ends up being kind of an orange. So it shows a, a pretty pretty cool transition between those two colors, kind of showing the smoke coming out, the exhaust coming out of those jump jets, being really hot at, at first, then gradually cooling off as, uh, as we go up. Next step after that is to come in with a gray. So as the smoke is uh, closer to the ground, it's the furthest away from the exhaust vent. So it's it's the cool it's cooling off and darkening, and so that gray is really going to help uh, with that transition in temperature of this exhaust. And that can just go right over the red. It, it's okay that it's showing the red going through because again, it's showing this transition in color. Next up, we're going to go put in a, just a couple of details on these. Um, typically, you're not going to get super close to these elementals on the tabletop. Um, so, but just to give them a little bit of contrast, I went in. Since they're Jade Falcons, they need some orange or some yellow to help um, break up that green a little bit. And so I went in with the orange and gave them orange shoulder pads.
Next up, we're going to use some Agrax Earthshade. I've already gone in with some uh, metallics to pull out the small lasers, machine guns, little grabber claw uh, on the each elemental, and sure enough, I drop it. And again, that adds just a little bit of detail to each elemental. Next up, the bases. So these are the 3D printed bases that I designed. They're available for free if you want them. Uh, I'll put the link in the video description below if you're looking for the STL to print them. Uh, but uh, because the elementals are jumping around, I figured a nice 3D base where they actually can be like jumping and running off things might be uh, more interesting. So use some speed paint to give them some color and then using dry brush to again pull out the edges get it kind of a cool neo neo green look but pretty still pretty spartan because again you want the focus on the model and not so much on the base this one base has a little cutout for a little water or uh, waste pool basin whatever you want to put in it so i started with the base coat of white this is the bold titanium white that I referenced earlier. And, and uh, I do end up using a, the, a contrast paint to um, turn that white into a blue and then we'll put, it, we'll put some resin in there uh, eventually. Next up is actually placing the elementals on the base. So again, I wanted them to be unique rather than all looking exactly the same. Um, so mixed and matched a little bit, uh, put a few jumpers on one and no jumpers on the others, uh, and kind of arrange them on each base in a unique way. You can see here, I'm using some UV resin to fill in the pool. will help complete that water effect. And just one little drop will do. And I'll hit it with the UV light and it'll be Hard as a rock. Next up again, use some more Agrax Earthshade to fill in some of these details. The missile, um, missile racks. And getting getting the focus to work on elementals is extremely tricky. <laughs> We're talking very very small models here, so getting in there trying to, to pull out just a few details here and there so that the final product as you see it here um, can look good from from a distance here on the table hopefully I think they turned out looking pretty good I thought they were looking pretty good and this catapults about to have a really bad day as always, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it to those of you who have continued to support the channel. If you haven't already, we would love a like, a subscribe, uh, check out other videos. I, my goal for this channel is to create content that will allow people to enjoy uh, games like Battletech, like Warhammer, and others in a very accessible way. So take care, be awesome, make the world a slightly better place today and tomorrow.